Wiggle, wiggle. Like. Hey, Muffin here. Welcome back. Have a subscriber request. One that I actually, when announced when putting the room together, I, I messed up. I had made the announcement for Low Burst E75 TS when reading the subscriber request. I don't know what I was thinking. I think I was looking at a low at the time, so I apologize to those. I made the announcement too, but thank you for everyone that helped participate. So this is the E75 versus the E75 TS. Now we know the E75 is a tier nine, E75 TS is a tier nine, or sorry, excuse me, tier eight. We're gonna see how many E75s it, excuse me, E75s it takes to take on seven E75 TSs. So um, we got, um, Good amount of people, try to switch people out, give people a turn. If you want to help with any of the videos I'm doing, everyone's more than welcome. Join the Discord, um, and then make sure you get the movie crew roll. I'm actually going to be doing challenge videos, if you haven't heard already, um, kind of like what I do for Blitz, like historical recreations, things like this, but also War Thunder, um, maybe even World of Tanks PC. I have a whole film crew designated for War Thunder, so we got a lot of exciting tank stuff uh, coming up uh, on this channel. So in regards to both of these tanks, the Tier 9, obviously better, just because it's a higher tier, uh, thicker armor, a much higher average damage per shot with its cannon, uh, better penetration. Not quite as accurate as the E75 TS. You'll notice some of the shots that E75 TS is able to get on the cupola of the E75 in some um, of this video, which is quite impressive. The other thing that E75 TS has going for it is better gun depression. So really being able to come up over hills, being able to get that cannon down, and it is better than the low and the tiger too. Um, it does have that kind of that really large flat uh, turret, the face of it, making it a little bit easier to penetrate compared to the Luva. And excuse me, I'm also realizing I'm pronouncing that wrong, kind of through the first half of the video, but the Luva having that excellent large gun net, but taking up most of the front of the turret. Um, Tiger II not having as big of a face to its turret, but the E75 TS definitely has uh, that large side. So the nice thing about the E75 TS is the spaced armor on the sides, um, helping to prevent penetration from AG rounds, uh, heat rounds. So that is one thing that is quite nice about it when coming across uh, tanks like that, uh, especially if you've got a T-49 or something coming along your side. T-49 with its derpy cannon only has um, like heat or HE uh, rounds or the uh, high penetrating rounds. So going in here, the E-75 is quite we're not able to do it with three tanks. Now we're going to see how this works out with four. Looks like we got the E75s taking the flank over here on the far side. Getting to higher ground, the E75TSs going more center of the map. So you can see the E75s don't quite have the accuracy the E75 TS does. They've spotted each other and it's starting to close in. Very interesting battle. Ooh, and what a shot off that E75 TS. Now they're all clumped together over here on one side. Would be really good to spread out a little bit, get them from multiple angles. Enemy 
another great shot in that E75 TS. And really good thinking, taking this high ground, kind of being in the back, able to support the E75s, the other ones just right up here in this area, allowing that if they did come at him from different angles, he can get multiple perspectives and easily be able to uh, take advantages from side scraping just like this going left and right. Now Uranium's a great player. And if he is watching this, thank you also Uranium for helping with the vids. Excellent shot. Putting these E75 TS's in a pretty bad position here. Now both pretty good side scraping tanks. see that E75 TS just having a bit of a hard time but when playing a heavy tank I always recommend carrying some premium ammunition just because a lot of what you're going to be facing and how you position yourself as a heavy tank the side scraping is facing other heavy tanks with very thick armor Very smart thinking and focusing on the lower hit point E75TS. Try to get uh, less cannons pointed at your team. And so far, it's looking pretty good for the E75s, able to pull through with doing four against seven. Now, a lot of it does come down to skill. Even if there was an amount of average players uh, that were swapped out, you know, switched in, people taking turns through the different uh, rounds, um, it's just always interesting or just curious to see on average how much it would take given the different amount of players testing and trying this out. So once again, four E75s were able to pull through and do it. Now we're going to go back to three and see if that can be done. Once again, E75's taking an aggressive position over here on the far side of the map. Pretty good. It'll give them great view range and a great defensive position, but they are spotted, which, ooh, fortunate miss but great job by the E75 TSs for moving up to that position to hopefully get, uh, get some eyes on them. Looks like we got uh, one E75 TS just going down in the valley. Now this is a bit challenging because depending on where the bulk of them are, the two of the E75s are going to need to be on that side. Now the other thing though too is even though the E75 does have a higher average damage per shot, it also has a slower reload. Great shot there. And they are closing in. And very smart of the E75 TS is to be playing very close to quickly be able to pop around those corners where the E75s are exposed, getting those shots off on any weak spots they can have, and able to use their gun depression in these areas coming up over the hill. Great shot there, trying to do everything they can. This is definitely where adrenaline would need to be kicked in. Can that one E75 just hold the rear until... Ooh, and a just unfortunate module shot. Looks like that E75 is getting a little low on hit points, and he's down. Can the other one turn around? Enemy is hit. Enemy on. 
Oh, uranium doing his best. And unless a miracle or some sort of magic happens here, I, I don't think this is going to happen. So we did try some others, um, but it did not look like the E-75s were able to do three. It looked like the minimum was four. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the vid. This is the muffin here. You guys stay cool and keep tanking.